All right, this lesson is going to be about uh, calculating population growth rate. Uh, given the formula, growth rate is equal to delta M, which is the change in population size, over delta T, which is the change in time. So GR equals growth rate. Delta M is change in population size. And delta T is the time frame, change in time. Now at this point, I'm just going to take a moment just to, to make sure you're on the right video here because there is a similar formula that goes CGR is equal to delta N over N, which is change in population size over the uh, number in the original population. And that's the per capita growth rate formula. And that's different from the growth rate. So if you're looking for per capita growth rate, looking for help on that, there is another video that I made about per capita growth rate. So check the playlist and check the channel and you'll see that one. That's not what this video is about. This one's not about per capita growth rate. This one is about the growth rate or GR. So let's get rid of the per capita growth rate step. Check out the other video if that's what you're looking for. All right, so a note about each of these. First of all, growth rate. The unit for growth rate is going to be whatever you, your species is um, and divided by whatever the time frame is. So it could be something as simple as bacteria cells per hour. It could be um, number of wolves per year. Um, whatever the species is divided by whatever the time frame is. Delta N our change in population size, well that's that could be given in the question or it could be calculated. It could be calculated because you could be given factors such as natality, mortality, immigration, and emigration and have to add and subtract them. So of course natality is birth, so you would add the number that were born. Mortality is deaths, so you would subtract those ones. Immigration is to move in, so you'd add those. And emigration is those individuals that move out of the population, so you would subtract those ones. So you might be given the population size changes that occur, or you might have to calculate it. And then the change in time is pretty straightforward. You'll be given a start time, you'll be given an end time, subtract the two, and you'll get the change in time. So let's take a look at an example of a problem like this. Again, it's a three-variable formula, so as long as you're given two of those variables, you can solve for the third. So here we have between 1960 and 2002, so there's our time frame. The bighorn sheep population in New Mexico went from approximately 450 sheep to 130 sheep. So we don't have to worry about natality and mortality, immigration and emigration here. We're given a total at the beginning and a total at the end. Obviously this population has declined and our answer is going to be a negative. As a matter of fact, right in the answer key here, and right in the answer space, they've already given us the negative sign. So what was the growth rate of the bighorn sheep population between 1960 and 2002? So growth rate, GR, is equal to delta N over delta T. And let's solve for our delta N first. That's going to be our, our change in population size. So we're going to take the final population, 130 sheep, and subtract the initial population, 450 sheep. And we are going to get negative 320 sheep. So it's gone down by 320 sheep over that time frame. Our delta T, change in time frame, is just going to be 2002 minus 1960, which is 42 years. So our unit for the answer is going to be sheep per year, which is exactly the unit they've got written right here, so we know we're on the right track. All right, so we plug in our numbers, negative 320 sheep. Forty-two years, and we calculate that. So negative three hundred and twenty divided by forty-two. I get an answer of negative seven point six one nine zero four seven eight or something. Like and this is going to be sheep per year. So how do we write this? We want our answer rounded to two decimal places. So rounded to two decimal places, I would write this as negative 7.62 sheep per year. So negative 7.62. All right, uh, 
that's it for calculating population growth rate. Again, you could be given the growth rate and have to calculate the time frame. You could be given the growth rate and time frame and ask to calculate the population change, size change. Um, three variable formula, solve for one of them, given the other two.